everyone. Welcome back to another video. So we asked you guys on Instagram what kind of content you would like to see from us. And DIY content and how-to videos were highly requested. So today we're going to show you how to make some homemade almond milk. It's super easy, super delicious, and it's honestly changed our life. <laughs> and we can now no longer enjoy <laughs> store-bought almond milk because this is just so good. And we're also partnering up with one of our favorite brands. You guys have seen them in many of our videos before, Bob's Red Mill. And they have these new on-the-go muesli cups. Uh, they have a tropical and a paleo flavor that are vegan. And honestly, they're great, so. They're really great for on-the-go. We are on-the-go people. I feel like we're always on a rush. And these are really good for breakfast on-the-go, snack on-the-go. We just take them with a little bit of the almond milk that we're gonna show you how to make today. Bob's Red Mill is an employee-owned company that uses high-quality and minimally processed ingredients. And everything is kosher and non-GMO. So we are going to get into the recipe now. Let's do it. So the night before making your almond milk, you're going to add a cup of almonds into a large bowl, and then you're going to fill it up with water about an inch above the almonds. And then you'll let that soak for about eight hours or overnight, and then afterwards you'll want to discard, well you want to strain the almonds and then discard the liquid. The liquid is filled with phytic acid, which is an enzyme that inhibits the absorption of nutrients, so we don't want that, we're going to get rid of that. Um, so now we're left over with soaked almonds. So we are going to add the almonds to our high speed blender. And then to that we're going to be adding in two cups of water. The ratio we like to use is one to two. Um, but you can add more water if you want it to be more thin. This will make a creamier almond milk. And then we're also going to add a pinch of salt, which I'll go grab right now. Let's add a little dash in there. And then if you want, you can also add a dash of vanilla or anything else like that. Mm -hmm. You can add some maple syrup, uh, a medjool date if you want those. We prefer it unsweetened, but... Yeah, just your preference. Oh! <laughs> Alright. So now we are going to blend this for two minutes on high in our high speed blender. That was a very exciting two minutes. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So it did get warm, but um, we will talk about that later. So next up, we're going to take a nut milk bag. You can also use a cheesecloth if you got that. If you have two people to do this, it's much easier because I've spilled this all over the counter before and it's not fun. She has. <laughs> and then we're just going to want to strain the liquid through. There's going to be a lot of pulp left over. We actually have a recipe for do we have a recipe for that? Yeah, we have a recipe on our blog using the almond pulp to make some chocolate cookies. So if you guys want to check that out, we will link, link it down below. Up. But yeah, this is the longest part of the recipe. So. A little tedious. Just got to knead, knead the uh, almond pulp a bit. And you want to make sure you're squeezing the top because everything can just shoot out the top and uh, that'll we be a huge that. mess. We've made the mistake before. <laughs> yeah. And you just got to be patient with it. Don't push too hard. Don't rip through the bag. Um, we've done all these things. We just don't want you to make the same mistakes. It just takes a little time. We've made this recipe using almonds, cashews, walnuts. You can really use any nut. Yeah, anything you've got. Hazelnuts are really good. They're Rice just expensive. Rice might be a little bit different. And these nut milk bags, you can get them on Amazon as well. We'll link uh, this down below if you want to check it out. But they also sell that at health food stores. Uh, I think Whole Foods has it. Yeah, we have a bunch of them, honestly. Yeah, they last a really long time if you're just careful with them and take care of them, wash them well. And another thing is wash the nut milk bag while it is still moist. Don't let everything dry up in it because it makes it harder to clean. Not a good idea. We're still going to squeeze out at least uh, another tablespoon. I think so. <sighs> Here, let me take over. Whew. All right, I think we're good here. So I wanted to show you what the pulp looks like. If I can get this open. And it's pretty dry. Um, again, you can use this in the cookies that we recommended um, you try out. And there are also a lot of recipes online that you can use to use up the pulp, compost it. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You don't have to waste it. So, so next up, all we have to do is transfer it into an airtight container. We just choose a jar here. And also this lid, um, we ordered it on Amazon if anyone is interested. It's a BPA-free lid. We just don't like using the metal lids because um, they get rusted. So. Transfer it over. All right, and that's it. 
Pop the lid on, pop it in the fridge, um, and let it chill. It's better when it's cold, and you got some fresh almond milk. We actually have, over here, we have our muesli cups and some almond milk that we made yesterday, and it's nice and chilled. It is much better when it's cold. So we're actually about to head out on a photo shoot, so we're gonna bring these along, and we'll enjoy it while we're there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. We had a beautiful time shooting today. It was mostly just for practice, but it was still a lot of fun. Still got some good shots. Totally. And make sure you check out Bob's Red Mill. We, ha we will have, my bad, a discount code and links down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And we'll see you guys very soon. Yeah.